Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to all the Ambazonians on Ground Zero. Good afternoon. Good morning to all those Ambazonians who have been detained by the wicked, you know, government of the Republic of Cameroon, the dictator of Paul Bia in Yaoundé. Good morning to all the refugees in the asylum camps in Nigeria. Good morning, good afternoon to those who are in the forest, feeling happier being in the forest than to come and be killed by the forces of our Republic the Cameroon, who are everywhere in the Ambazonia territory, hunting for people, young people to be killed after burning all their villages. Good morning to all the Ambazonians and sympathizers all over the world in the diaspora. This is Prince Ayamba again. Mr. Hope has decided to come up with his YouTube, you know, briefings on happenings which are going on as the struggle proceeds. There are so many bad things that are happening and some good things also that we should understand that in a struggle like this, where people are fighting for their freedom, things like this should happen. So we should never lose, lose hopes. We should all, always struggle and struggle to conquer these difficult moments because victory is on our side. We are already becoming victorious. And I will bring you some points to show that we are victorious already because there is total confusion in the Republic of Cameroon. Prince Ayamba again counts on the power of prayers. Yes, Prince Ayamba. He said we, we were. Prince Ayamba says, we were deceived by our forefathers who carried us and joined us with this evil country called the Republic of Cameroon in an illegal or an illegal marriage which turned out to enslave the humble, humble people of Amazonia. Prince Ayamba is saying, this country, La Republic Cameroon, was a country that was built on blood. It is a, a country that everybody is a Satan. The president is a Satan. The deals are all Satans. Mayors are Satan. All the supporters are Satan. Prince, the principals, the colleges are Satan because they live all on bribes. You know, the prime minister is a Satan. The ministers are all Satan. Everybody, because all of them are a Satanic group. The cardinal is a Satan because he is also in a Satanic group with Pobia. All the religious heads, they are Satans because they are all in a Satanic group. That is why they are still holding strong tight with Pobia. So let me just tell you the truth. Everybody in the Republic is a Satan. All of them are in such sacred societies. They live on human's blood. They live on human's flesh. So I, Prince Ayamba, am telling you the truth. Everybody should believe me what I'm saying. That is why everybody beside Paul Bia is a Satan. All the journalists, they are all Satans. All the politicians, they are all Satans. Because they are in the same sacred society with Paul Bia. That is why the, their own God of the sacred society came to carry out the blood of the People who have been killed at Bazonia and those who have been killed in La Republic Cameroon and all those who have armies who have been killed also to take it away to go and do to do and do is crucial is crucial in order to keep Pobia in power. But the power of God says no, that cannot work because we prayed and prayed and prayed. <coughs> I will tell you for the truth. Everybody in La Republic is a Satan because the country was built on satanic basis. That is why you see everybody, the ministers are all in prison because they are all satans. Because now the, the temple is broken. So everybody must be cut off. Even probably I will be cashed one day and also locked in prison. So as I, as I told you one of my clips, clips that, you know, these satanic, you know, satanic secret societies are all going to collapse by 2022. As I was telling you. Now you have seen it is collapsing and going, collapsing gradually. I will tell you power, the power of prayers. 
is very great. As I read here, hope is the key of the revolution. There is great hope in the power of prayers. Prayers is freeing the state of Ambazonia. Prayers and hope is building hopes in the hearts of the Ambazonians. Prayers will and is destroying the hopes in our enemy, the Republic of Cameroon, Satanic Kingdom. Mr. Hopes is having hopes. All Abazonians are happy for when they see the self-defense forces freeing them from the 57 years of slavery. Prayers have poured Holy Ghost fire on every evil country like the Republic of Cameroon and in all other countries supporting them to put the dictator to power against again to fight to continue the occupying of Ambaslam. This selfish this is a very selfish interest interest. All the countries are supporting Pobia. They are supporting Pobia in order to that Pobia should win the elections so that they should stay in power so that they could have their personal interest in Amazonia and that is why they are fighting. They are helping Pobia to fight in order that they should come and exploit the resources. The Holy Ghost fire has caused and is causing destruction in these countries, which is France, English, England, China, and Malta. May the Holy Ghost fire continue to burn on these countries so that they should have a best impact on everything they do. The power of prayers is in self-defense forces to free and protect the homeland, Amazonia, from any further killing which has been planned in the days ahead. The Satan, but the blood drinker, dictator Pobia plans to kill many bodies or plan to kill anybody who tries to block him from winning the election coming. On the 7th of October 2018. This is why you can see that he has done all the ways and those strong opposition leaders who are having their own political parties has been rejected by the electoral team. Has been rejected. That is Akere Muna has been re 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 rejected. He will not stand for elections with his party. Under his party, he will not stand. This is Joshua also. Osi Joshua also will not stand under the SDF. You have seen how dangerous Pobia is. How he can my trip the Anglophones, as he called them. Since they don't want, don't want to leave him, that saves them right. Because they gave the, the information that this is Joshua, is a foreigner, and double nationality is not accepted in Cameroon. So the judge rejected him from the list. Akere Muna, they brought out the idea that he cannot rule the country, so he doesn't have to stand because he's having. Uh, is having a case in court with his junior sister who was once been the minister. So they rejected him that they, he's having problems with, with family problems which are not permitting him to stand for elections. So he was rejected. This saved those people who are still in the Republic feeling that Paul Bia is respecting them. This is when they will know very well that they are all slaves to Paul Bia and they can never be accepted by Paul Bia in no way or the government of the of Republic. They are just wasting their time. 
This is a strong message to all, you know, the ministers who are there, the parliamentarians, the senators, that you people are wasting your time there. Come back and join the struggle. Let's fight for independence. Please, we not too late. We are calling you to come back. You will become people of no country if you don't come back now because we will never accept you and the Republic will never accept you also. Need your fool, you are a fool. Perhaps you will be arrested before election because you are the person still keeping this struggle to be, you know, pending. Harry been you withdraw your party who have been, who have gone so far. So I'm just, you know, informing you, need your fool to take your time because any time from now we can arrest you. We don't care. Yeah, we don't have any time again. We are, we are in war. You, we are in war. You are, you are pretending, pretending us in this war. You are pretending us in this war. Please, need your fool, listen to Prince Ayamba speaking to you. I know you very well. Okay. Because I supported you far back. Supported you wholeheartedly. You used to even sleep in a house, in my one. And in a house, in a, a Tukwebe in Yaoundé. My uncle's house. When you come, we rally everything we did for you, but you sold us. Please, I'm still telling you this the second time. You are trying to do this again. <coughs> okay. Prince Ayamba, we will talk, although it's a bit worried, but at least I control my temper. So, I would like to read um, certain, uh, a certain speech which let E.M.L. Ndele spoke. He prophesied it. And what he said just happened. The same as he said. The people did not take him serious at that time. Because people were short-sighted. Let me first of all just put the picture so that you can see while I will be reading the speech. Excuse me one minute, please. Okay, this is the picture and the speech is there, but I will also read it so that people can hear. Okay, but before I read this speech, I will tell people that there are so many short videos I will be showing you and pictures as I proceed with what I'm giving as information. Okay, even before I, I, I read the speech, before I come back to the speech, let me just give you some headline of what I'm going to, you know, discuss for today. If time permits, time permits, as the speech is one of the agenda, is one of the things in the agenda. We should all, we also, I will also talk a bit about one guy. There's one disturbing guy, very strong alert that people should take care and hunt for this guy and take him, put him in order. Please, it's possible they kill him because the guy's all is too much now. It's making that killing people. There's one, uh, they call him uh, Sam Bobo. Sam Bobo in Moyoka is a problem. He's causing that killing, mass killing since from Sunday. So they should people should hunt for him. I'll come to that. I'll come to that. I want to strike him things also. We told people, we told people not to not to eat food or things given by the Republic of Cameroon, but they don't want to hear us. We told people they don't want to hear us. Now people have started dying because they're eating in Nigeria. I will come to eat in Nigeria. Eight people died yesterday in one home in Nigeria because the egg food that has been sent is as it's a lash. The egg food that has been sent by the Republic, all of them died. They are now in the mortuary. I will come to eat. I'll show you pictures. Okay, I also talk about um, a short issue as um, what the, the vice president, vice president of America, US. It's, um, it's an announcement he made, you know. Then I can talk about um, also the AAC3 by Kanatumi. Fake AAC3. I'll talk about it. We say no to it. It's a failure. Okay, there are other topics. If possible, 
I will brief you a bit about the letter which the wife of our detent His Excellency President, Zuko Ayoktabe, wrote to the Secretary General of the United Nations. I will also talk about that. Then there are other things, great achievement. You know, they, they are doing a great job there, the Red Dragons. Yes, they are doing a great job. I just talk a short action that they, they have done. I was also talk about, um, you know, uh, Kema. He came out and his problem of, um, you know, closing the, the stores in Boya. Mm -hmm. But he, he came out also. is the sole cause of the death of um, the, the chief. The chief um, who just died yesterday. Chief Mada who just died. He came out is the cause. So, and even he came out, <coughs> he came out. Even though it's alleged that he, he, the chief was sick, but it's a kema, he's behind everything. And it should be... I want to talk about the fact that um, the chief that were arrested, the six chiefs from Boya, Fako, that were arrested. Not even Fako, from, yes, from Fako, the guy is um, Boya, the southern zone, a headquarter where we were arrested. We will plead to them for forgiveness and we will release them. Because the act... Uh, 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 which they was said they, they carried out was not false, was false. So we have got the real person who carried out this act. Mm -hmm. There are seven, certain things we have to say. There are many things along the line you will still see many things. And one important thing is that we are winning because La Republic is already packing out his things from, from Abazonia. This is a great victory. The Republic is already going out of Abazonia. It's already going out of Abazonia. If time permits, I also talk about, you know, there is one um, invisible voice who is giving advice to everybody in Abazonia and all, and even the Asian, every person, what we have to do in order that the generation, to, the independence should come and the independence should be a reality. So if time permits, I will talk all, all of that. If they do not permit where I end, I will continue the next video. Okay. I will also give you the information that um, to know that every nation, this is a philosophy, every nation built with the blocks of the people will collapse. And the nation built on the foundation of prayers will prosper. This is why America is set to be a great country as it, it, one of its motto is in God we, we trust. So our passengers should have trust in God. So you should understand that the Republic was a nation that started with drinking and killing of people. That is why the nation is collapsing now. But Abazonia will be a prosperous country because all the self-defense forces are struggling, you know, to defend homeland. And, and the Republic is now killing and killing the citizens of Abazonia. But this will come to an end. We have, we know what to do. It will come to an end. Okay. So now let me just start straight away. I'll just start with um, the speech by EML Ndele. Where she made the prophesizing what will happen and it happened. So we should always take the speeches of people important at times. Because it seems as if some people don't, they don't take speeches of people important. Because many people when they speak, they make their speeches, it, it becomes true. So as I told you, this is Endele. You can see him, him here. And the speech he even wrote is there. But I'll try to see if I can read it again. Here is one. Here is one of the living 
today prophecy. Here is one of the living today prophecy. Dr. E. M. A. Ndele, way back in 1958, he said no to reunification. And he predicted Cameroon Anglophones marginalization as he pointed out in a speech on May 25th, 1958. On the eve of the plebiscite, he warns, he warned the Southern Cameroonians that, quote, if you vote for Cameroon Republic, you will invite a new system under which everyone live in fear of the police and the army. You will do you will not be free to move about. You cannot lecture freely or discuss your political views in the public. And you can be arrested and flocked by the police and even in prison without fair trial. Close, he closed the quote. He was saying this to the Cameroonian politicians who let Southern Cameroon's representatives out of the Eastern Nigeria House of Assembly in Enugu and negotiated the creation of the autonomous region of Southern Cameroon in 1954. He continually said in quote, You among, who among you, he said, would like, who among you, he said, would like to live in French Cameroon, a country red with the blood of thousands of innocent victims killed by terrorists and Aegis regime. Who among you would like to live in a country which lack complete respect for human dignity and where you cannot speak out your mind freely or pursue your business in peace? Who among you would like to would like your children to grow up in servitude? That will be a lot if you join French Cameroon. That will be a lot if you join French Cameroon. So now I Prince Ayamba Lawrence, Mr. Hope, who will say I hope by now those who were hoping to steal Federate with those devilish countries called Republic under the dictator of the regime of President Phobia has many questions to ask themselves. A country which from the first day, even before independence, was living only on blood. Blood took the country to independence. That is the Republic from colonial to independence, colonialism to independence. And blood has been flowing in the country for 57 years. But the world do not know because the two presidents, that is Excellency Amado Aijo and Paul Bia, who had ruled the country for close to 63 years, block all what was happening to the country from the rest of the world. Hence, the world thought it was a peaceful country. This is a big lie. Let nobody say it, say that again, that the Republic has 
republic, the republic has never and will never be a peaceful country. Let nobody say it again. The republic has never been a peaceful country because every evil was blocked by His Excellency, late President Ahadi Amadou Ahijo and Phobia. Even at one time, the Africa Nimoro N, a railway station, was to be opened in La Republic, but it was blocked for fear that it would expose La Republic, you know, massacred and the and and that massacre that has been going on for 57 years. This La Republic, this Africa Nimoro N that is going on now would have been opened but in Cameroon, but they refused it because they are afraid that it will expose. The evil deeds of the people for 57 years, all the things that they've that been doing was just blocked it, secret. The world did not know. That is why the world was saying that the Republic is a peaceful country. It's a lie. The Republic has never been a peaceful country. It's just that the world was, was blind and not know what is happening. Especially immediately after the April 6 coup d'etat of six. April, that is around 1984-1985. Uh, Many people were killed. Cool, 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 cool board, the massacre, 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 continuously. So let me tell you, the Republic has been living in blood. In blood, but many people don't know. In blood, that is what I'm telling you people. And it's the truth, but it's not the truth, I'm telling you. We, the people of Amazonia, will not want to hear any person opening his mouth to say federation. If any person in Amazonia, even if you are a chief or a phone, a clergyman, who just whisper in the hiding and say federation, should be arrested by the same vain forces because these are the poor ones to bring us again backward. So we are warning you, Kadima Tumi, you should just stop your idea of federation. No federation, nothing, nothing, or your idea of AAC1, AAC, excuse me, AAC3, where Muzu has come, he wants to come and, you know, infiltrate because Muzu is working for his own personal benefit. He wants he is the one even who betrayed us in AAC1, AAC2. They gave him a post in the United Nations. He went there. Pobia gave him a post. And now he's working. Now with Pobia. And having all the grants that they want to form the AAC3 to organize the All Anglophone Conference, AAC3. So that everybody should come. Then when people come, they will round them up and just bomb and kill all the rest of the people. Then the Pop and then Pobia just be happy. So, Muzu, Muzu, the fool, the criminal, you are having a sexual run. We will get you, we will lock you, and we will cut your fingers, we will cut your boss your eyes. So, we are just telling you. And can you me, just forget, you are already old. Forget about this matter. We are looking forward for independence. We don't have anything again to say. You people are all with phobia, we know. Because you people are all in the same secret societies. All of you, the pastors, the, the, the you know, the cardinal. So, we said no, we don't want any conference. The war is going on. We have to fight the war, we have to have our independence. If you want to carry out all, all Anglophone conference, you can go to the Republic and you invite people from England, they come, Anglophone from England, from America, from Ghana, from Switzerland or anywhere, Australia, they come and you put a conference there, not in Abazonia. Well, we have our independence, we carry out all Abazonia conference. Let me just tell you. So we are warning you. We don't care about your age now. Because you don't have to bring us again this deep shit. Throughout your life, you have been working by phobia. Because clergy people have, have people who are they always follow the side and the prophet also. You profit from phobia for, for long. You've been working with him. So that is why you want to still create the ground so that you can come and carry out the election. But we tell you no. If you come there, bomb the place. We are going to bomb, throw a bomb and bomb all of you. The, all those pastors and uh, Reverend Fathers are coming. We don't want anything. This is serious. We are in a war. We don't care if you die. Many people have died.
You are not better than the, the priest that have been killed. Those two priests that have been killed in the Northwest, in and the other one, uh, grandfather. So, so we don't care if you want to come and set us to become to go backward again in the days of the 1950s, 1960s. We we'll say no. So we are just warning you, warning you seriously. Come back to me. We don't count. We don't no respect again if you fumble. We don't care. We don't care. We know all these things have been caused by by the Republic. The minister even told us in the letter that he wrote that they was they try to make certain things to cause destruction and division between the northern zone and south zone. And this is one of the things again that is coming up. So we are just warning you. The wells also should have all the population to hear. About the people should hear. The state reinforcements will hear. No elections and no all anglophone conference three. Finish. Nothing. We are not for any conference. We, don't have, we are not even anglophones. We are not anglophones. We are Bazonians. It's finished. Can I assume we don't hear anything from you? You should just end it. Go and sit quiet and be praying for your days that you will die. So that you will die, you will bury you in a good way. Don't come and mess yourself up because if you mess yourself up, we will mess you up. We don't care. People are dying. People have died. When people have, when this started, people were dying. You did not say anything. People were dying. You were just quiet for long. You promised to bring out anything when it started. It's only now that I've killed all, but bought all the houses. Everybody's in refugee camp. They come and say, I'm a phone conference. I'm, we don't want anything. It's finished. We are out of independence. We can never put down our arms. So we are warning you, and to me, please, just as an old man who have, we have been always respecting, just look for your plan. Sit quiet. Leave the young your youth to fight for the struggle and have their independence. Your own time has passed. You did nothing. People did nothing to help us. We have been stayed for 57 years. People did nothing. So we don't want anything for you people. We don't, we don't even say anything for you people. Need your phone on the rest. We don't say anything for you people. All those old people we don't say anything. So just forget this is a new generation. That is the information for you, Kanatumi. The conference you say is coming up September, uh, what is it, 30th, 28th, 30th. It's cancelled. We don't want it. We are not begging you. We are not begging you. We are telling you that no, 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 no AS3. We, we are not Anglophones. We are Amazonians. Finish, Kanatumi. We are not begging you. We are not appeasing you. We don't appease the church because the church does not, does not come and be doing this type of thing to bring us backwards. We don't appease you, please. That is the information to you, and that to me. We are warning you. We are not begging you. You are all my, you know you will die. So don't have time. You have to create more problems. Then you die. As probably also is creating problems. You know you will die. You don't care. You will leave the country in war. Okay, I continue. We the people of Amazonia. We don't want to hear any person opening his mouth to say free federation or AAC 3 or any AAC means AAC 10. We don't care. We don't want to hear anything in our land. No elections. No nation score. Nothing, nothing. We don't want it in our land. We are already closer to where I want to take us. I, I, I can't take back from the colonial master. That is all that we want. So can I just go and sit quiet? We are warning you. We are warning you. We are not begging you. We are the people who own the land. It, it's not you. You are with the church. You are the Pope's person. You are the, 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 the son of the Pope. You are not the first son of son of the Amazonia. So we don't want you. you just forget. You are killing Reverend Fathers. are doing everything. You are there still planning that you should come and kill more Reverend Fathers. Killing uh, pastors in order to cause separation. But fortunately, the minister have already written a letter and told us that all these things will happen. So, Abazunas, be wise. The accompanied troops of the Republic cannot be carrying out genocide. On our people burning all the, the villages villages and and and, and some oh, hopeless people are there in in in, in the pala, pala, parliament in the parliament and the, and the other senators are still just sitting there waiting they can assume will also come and be talking about ac1 ac2 this bullshit we don't want to hear anything again from that don't make us be angry let it just end like that 
We are not even begging you. Can you assume me? We are not begging you. Please, we are not begging you. We will suffer a lot for 58, 57 years. We are not begging you. Okay, that was the information for that. We will come now. I come now to some of the some of the readings. I'll give you some of the briefings, uh, then I come again to another point of um, information. Okay. Okay, in Moyoka, there is serious killing. If I continue, let me put the picture of Kadatumi so that you will be able to see the faces of those foolish people who want to come. Those old foolish people that are almost dying, they want to come and put all these problems. Let me put it on the picture, please. This is the picture of Kadatumi and the rest who are trying to organize that we should become slaves again. Look at their picture very well. Those are the evil people that want to sell us again for the second time. But who will say no? Look at their picture. That is, a, that is their picture. China to me. Organizing with Muzu, the criminal. Who is looking for a post. Muzu is looking for a post as president to be as minister. That is why he's trying to do all this to please Pobia. He did it the AAC1 and AAC2 and have a good post. Now he's still doing it again. So, you abandon us to take note. Self reinforce to take note. Everybody should take note. I just take note. Okay, in Moyoka, since Sunday, there have been killings, massive killings since Sunday. It's a sad news, but we, should, we have to look for solutions. Because Mr. Hope is always here, you know, to give people information that will look for solutions. Because in a revolution like this, they, they are always ups and downs. So, we have to look for solutions for this problem in Moyoka. Because there's... Serious killings by the by trained military men from Yaoundé. They are in Moyoka killing since from, from Sunday. And it is said that it's one some some bobo is one some bobo who is going. Who is a quarter head and is walking hand in hand with the with the forces from, from Yaoundé to show the homes of the Amazonians to be killed. This Sambo boy is a, a native of Basa. It's a Basa guy. It's a quarter head. You see the arrows that the Abazuna have been doing for long? They will take different people to quarter heads in our own land. Foreigners will come and be quarter heads. Bamliki people quarter heads. And now they are messing up. They are messing us up. Sambo boy has left strange, as I'm saying, he lives. Stranger quarters going to Balong and now he's entering a uh, Kwigui, what is Kokwi quarter. He's pointing, pointing to houses with the army inside the Amoka. It is said that he is with the, the Air Force military men from Yaoundé inside the Amoka showing houses of Amazonians. And the military men are shooting indis indiscriminately. At Abazonias and their properties, even cars, they are shooting on cars. There is massive killing going on in Morocco. Some Bobo should be immediately killed, be killed, should be arrested and be killed to stop this unwelcoming act. He is not an Abazonia, he is a Basa. It is said that after every day's action, the military takes him to Mutengene and leave him there. My Mutengene people, stand up. We talk with strong fighters. Please stand up and look for some, for some bobo. All possible means, please, people should look for some bobo. All possible means and get him. So that you stop this killing. Get him. People should get some bobo. At first, it was uh, one great, uh, one, one grand bo boss, they call him. One grand boss, they call him in Moyoka, that was carrying this axe. Who was working with the council? 
now of late because he, he died who was he used to dress Gambo used to dress like a woman and move around with the, the military people in the military uh, armor cars showing the houses of the Abazonias and now he's dead uh, 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 Sambova has taken over He should be brought in order as quickly as possible to stop this problem in Moroka. The killing in Moroka is too much. See it from Sunday. Please, please, it's too much. Okay, another development in um, this place in the BLM. In Aziz. On Saturday, the 28th, of July 2018, there was serious fighting on the Aziz, in, in Aziz, between the forces of the Republic and the Red Dragons of Libya. Lem. One machine gun carrier was destroyed by the Red Dragons. The Republic are running into the bushes for their, their lives. The Red Dragon is doing an excellent job for all the Abazonians. We, the people of Abazonia, thank the Red Dragons. Okay. We go next now. The next step now we go. We will go down to discuss on uh, the death of the chief. The death of the chief. Chief, one of the chiefs in Boya. One of the chiefs that were arrested among the six chiefs. You know. This chief is called Mr. Mbada. Mbanda. He died yesterday, may so rest in peace. Mr. Mbanda died. This chief died. And there are so many mix up about the causes leading to his death. But I will like to inform people that even though they are mixed up, but the truth is there. People are feeling that um, is the, <clears throat> the self-defense forces who have killed the chief, but it's a lie. The self-defense forces don't kill. People who kill are the self-defense forces of Atanganji and Ikema Patrick and Jumel Francis and the rest. They are the people who kill so that they should create problems between the factions. But all this is, you know, gradually coming to order because we are putting them in order. So this chief died. And from sources, says he was sick. He died because of his those natural death. As you hear from the video, even the people from the village, they say in the dialect, that he died natural death. But let me not tell a lie. He's been killed by the Republic of Cameroon. That is the truth. Because this chief, immediately he, they were caught up because of one reason because there was an alleged that young virgins were killed and buried in Boya in order to neutralize the powers of the Ambazonia forces. That is why the Ambazonians arrested these six chiefs for interrogations. And this very chief who died spoke out his mind and said they are for the Ambazonians and he said everything that they are out for. He is out for independence and he doubt why the other chiefs don't want to stand with the Ambazonian people for their independence. He called on even Mokete that should. It's old, he cannot take decisions so I can resign one of two things of 
on the nature and this chief is, and the population that this chief is supporting the struggle wholeheartedly so they have to go behind and either kill him secretly in the house or poison him that is the work of Ekimapachi and now they say it's Abazonia, same young forces or they say it's natural death of which is a lie let me just put the this if I continue let me put it you here before I continue please just one minute one minute please Here you can see that is the corpse. That is the corpse of the late chief. That is Chief Mbanda. That is his corpse. Okay. Soka Molive, Vice President of the Boya Chiefs Conference. You hear what he says? In fact, the situation in which our people are living is very, very deplorable. I have over uh, 600 people who have fled their homes to my village. Now, now, now um, the Boya Chiefs Conference has not made any statement in this respect. So we are not happy with this. We are calling on uh, our population to join forces and support the Ambazonian boys for this fight because it is for our good. It is not for their own good, but it is for our own good generation upon generation. So I urge every chief in the Boya subdivision to join hands and assist these our young men. It is alleged that uh their chiefs have buried a virgin to stop the actions of the ambazonian we are there to investigate this and if we find that this is true we are going to deal with those chiefs who must have carried out such an act so why will you go silent since the beginning of this struggle why will you go silent you go like yes yes um, um not silence as per se we had made several appeals to the government, to the administration, to the president of the republic to look into this matter. But up to this point in time, nothing has been done. So we therefore rally behind the Amazonian to fight for their freedom, for our freedom, of course. So what are you telling the government in Yaoundé? Are you, are you telling the government to withdraw their troops? And they should back out that this land belongs to the Amazonia and this land is something historic. I have made several calls on this matter that they should withdraw troops from the Amazonian land. They should allow the people feel free and operate in the way they want to. They, because the forces of law and order, the troops that they have sent here, they are instead terrorizing the people. As I, 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 I can say, Last week, we just buried a young guy in the soccer who was shot by the military after he had taken a refuge right inside his own bedroom. So this is so disheartening. We cannot continue like this. So what are you telling the international body? The international like body, the the international no. body, we know there are so many of them that inter have intervened, but they have not done their job up to the extent that we expect. They should do their job. Let us see freedom. That is our watch word. Let us see freedom. So I call on the government to think twice, to allow our people feel free. The young men who are in the bushes should come back to their land and feel free and continue with their daily activities while the Republic continues with uh, what, what she has to do. So are you telling you have to are you telling the government or the public or are you telling the international community that the restoration forces the architecture of people that the army are the ones 
killing raping and bullying mm -hmm. we have we have observed that the restoration forces are actually protecting the people but the military that they always say are the people terrorizing our own civilian innocent civilian and uh, citizens of the amazonian land so you are calling the un to go back to history of course i'm calling the un to go back to history because uh, uh, the people who actually did all this they are all dead but the documents are there history uh, 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 cannot be forgotten it cannot be forgotten we must go back to history and restore our freedom in the Amazonian land. Are you talking about freedom or independence? That is two things. Independence and freedom uh, uh, is one and the same thing. Because if you are not free, you can't have independence. Okay. Yeah. So what are you telling the interim government of um, um, Amazonia? I am telling the interim government to the president of Amazonia. Yes, I'm telling him to take courage and that we the Boya chiefs are behind them to see that they succeed in this fight. Okay. That is it. That is the chief that has been killed. Ambassador cannot kill a chief who has a good, you know, intention about the struggle. The chief has been killed, poisoned, or one way or the other, by a Kema and a group, the Republic agents. That is the chief of Mr. The chief, Mr. Mbanda of Lisoka. After his speech, they have killed him. Okay. That is that. It should be noted that the truth is that these chiefs, this chief has had nothing to do with the ritual that was carried out. The six chiefs were, that were arrested from Paco had nothing to do. So the, this is the truth now. This is the truth. We, the Ambazonia, want to appeal to the chiefs who were arrested for their innocence. We want to appeal to the chiefs who were arrested were innocent. Sources close to Ekema, Patrick, Esonge, had revealed after the death of the chief Mbanda of his Lisoka. The chiefs arrested by the restoration forces are innocent on the issue of the killing of the virgins. The real criminal is Ekema Patrick Esonge who was assisted by his second deputy, Mayor Efande Joseph, Councillor Wokana Wokama of Tole, his Councillor Wokama of Tole, and William Lipanje. Lifawi and Katarine Mbile. These are the people who are concerned with the killing of the virgins. So what has been passed now that all those chiefs that were arrested should be released. Because those are the real people who kill, who are killing virgins and burying them in Boya. Not those chiefs that 
were arrested. So we apologize to the family and to the chiefs. We apologize to the family and to the chiefs for what we've done. Because we've seen and realized that they were innocent. So we ordered the self-defense forces to release them immediately. Okay. I will also put a video, short video, so that you should hear other chiefs as they are doing the ritual. They put the the chief that has just died. They are saying in their vernacular that this chief died a natural death. But I will tell you, Paul, he was killed. It's not natural. The CPDM went there, organized everything, obvious agents. He came out and the rest they killed him because of what he said. Let me put the video. Please, the chiefs, we wish you tell the entire world over what happened to our fellow brother, another chief, for when you put him and met him in his own hut. And what has transpired, like child taking him out of the place to where they were supposed to give him maybe better medical attention. And this morning, was myself, I was Loud. this morning I was opportunity to go to the hut where the chief was uh, being kept. Uh, unfortunately, I met him in ill health, and we are later to the medical team of the Amazonian forces, and along the way, uh, we gave up, up with this. It is very unfortunate that such a thing happened. And uh, uh, Chief Yumi, please, can you tell the villagers in uh, Vanicula so that uh, Mama and Papa who are out there could not get English, could get it for using the Vanicula? Yes, Mone Elele, then they came out to Timbada, Ale Dorele, Lukanga, Marawi, no Bamu, Ale Wangawa Tima, Wangawa Tima, Woki. information you heard them saying that dialect that um the chief chief just died the natural death he was sick the car they tried to get to the hospital they died the background people so this is just the allegation they they the chiefs they don't even know the truth the truth is that a came went behind organized everything and killed him because they know they are making up findings to know the truth about Killing and burying of virgins. So they have to eliminate him because he is the main person. Because he is at the head of the chief conference. He is representing the chiefs, all the chiefs. So they have to do everything with like his life. We extend condolences to, the, to his family. We've lost an able. Ambazonia chief. May God bless your soul to rest in peace. Amen. Okay, I'll give you Paul some happening that took place in Boya. Okay, concerning um, this hopeless Ekimapachik. Okay, this is how it happened. Shops in Boya were still. Shops in Boya were sealed and by a Kamapachik and pressure were put on him to come and unseal the shops. A Kamapachik was bribed 
by some banks and he unsealed the banks. These jobs were sealed because they it came past the law that nobody should respect the ghost town. But all the shops, the Lord, they, they respected the ghost town. So Ekma was Patrick, the mayor of Boya, the foolish man, the dictator, the you know, agent of Pobia, he decided to go and seal shops. So Ekma Patrick was bribed by some banks and he went and unsealed the banks. The others were angry. And other people were angry. So one Mr. Inji Fobi came and unsealed his shop and it came out. The so-called mayor of Fako, the killer, the man who killed the virgins and the buried them for ritual, came and asked Mr. Inji Fobi, Inji Fobi, Who asked him to open the shop? That is going against the law and gave him a serious slap on the jaw. And Mr. Nji Fobi could not see a man slapping a man. He got angry and he had a kema, the mayor of Boya, well beaten. Gave him blows on his face, terrible blows on his face, and I believe by now some of the teeth are out. Yes, he gave him serious blow that saves him right. And the police were in the car, but three police they came out and you want them that nobody should touch him. Nobody. That is how it happened. Mr. Governor has been beaten well in Boya. That saves him right. Yes. The country is no more governed by him. The country is governed by the self-defense forces. Self-defense forces govern the countries on ground, ground zero. And the diaspora and ground zero also by the IG. So Kema and the Republic of Cameroon have no powers in the land. So that sets him right. He was well beaten. Very soon a pair of videos will come out. Okay. Another happenings. It should be noted that in Kumba, there is constant shooting and shooting of guns in Kumba for the past week. In the past week, gun shooting at four corner Kumba in the souring zone of Amazonia. These gun shooting are between the Confidence Street, Farm Road Street and the Bamleke Street. It started about 5.30 p.m. and is still continuing yesterday. It was as a result of a military car of the Republic, the Cameroon armies, which stopped into mud for us at the Farm Road Street. In due course of getting this the car out of the house, the military started shooting guns in the air, and this made you know. Panic, both panic in the in the in the neighborhood. Then the Amba neighborhood, neighborhood to neighborhood boys, fighters, responded, and there was confrontation. And the confrontation is still going on on both sides. For now, no details have been have reached my studio about the catastrophes. Another serious good news, good news, as we say, good news for money man. The Republic is already defeated. We have crippled the economy. 
We have to send them out of the land. We are winning the war. They don't have anything to do again. Apart from killing the chiefs now. When they kill the chief, they have already killed the, the bishops. And they, when they kill the chiefs, they will come to the minister perhaps. The armies also, who are in La Republic, who are from Abazona, will be killed. Lawyers will be killed. Because they have already killed Reverend Fathers. They have killed Reverend Father in Bamenda and Jinning. They have killed also Reverend Father in the southwest, trying to cause confusion all over. But we will say no, we are going but in front. Now is the turn. The good news is that the company, the Republic companies have started living. What's the good news? They have started living, packing their things. <laughs> the Republic is packing its things. They are going now. What's the reason to Cameroon? For one, one of the biggest companies in Cameroon and in Amazonia from the terrorist country, the Republic of Cameroon. He's packing his things back home, going back to his country. That is a good defeat. Prazaris in Cameroon is carrying all his belongings back to the Republic of Cameroon. As you will see in the video, more than 12, about 20, they are just passing. Trailers carrying everything, going back to Douala. Everything is going, all the products are going back to Douala. We are winning big time. Let no, let no one give up the fight. Let's unite and send La Republic out of our land. We said no to the elections. We said no to Kadatumo's um, AAC3. We said no to federalism. We said no to any form of, you know, cooperation with La Republic. By guns are by guns. 57 years of enslavement is enough. We can never be sold two times. Once beaten, twice child. Nobody can accept a snake to bite him and he sees a snake again and go beside it. So let me show you for the video. Let me show you the video, my fellow good Amazonians. Good Amazonians who are fighting for their freedom. Let me show you for the video. We will have one. Bazari is going. He's packing all the things going away. Passing through Boyoka and going with these things. That's a very good gesture. Brazaris is going. Oh, Brazaris, go back. Brazaris, so can carry a ball. They go back and go back so. Oh, Brazaris. They go carry a man. Go to the Mubu by force. And then this. Me to build the garden. And number 12, the pass through. Number 13 is the camp. Back to the Republic. No way. Ali, pass. Nonsense. I'm in this class, they regard them. Seriously. Seriously. After all, the papers, every day will fall. Now, now, no pass, man. We are reporting live from Munya Boya. The one they now wear the wrong pass to me. Yes. The one they go in the fire is Oh, fair. Go, 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 go. Nonsense. Who be there? Last time, last time, last time, be there, Papa. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. The whole week, Brother Riz have been carrying all the things back. That people is going back, back to home with all their industries. They must go back. We are winning. Thank God. God is great. The prayers have caused a lot of storm in the hearts of the Abazonia. Thank God. Thank God for that. Brother is going back. You can see it from the, the, the video. Yeah. Okay. We proceed, we proceed, we proceed. I told you today there will be a lot of short videos, short videos and highlighting and giving hopes. Mr. Hope is giving hopes. Even though we have a lot of things that are happening, we shall make it also be sad, but at the same time, we have things which will all make us to be happier. Bazaris is going. It's already packed. That is packing. That is one of the biggest company in the Republic of Cameroon, and which was installed in Abazonia, exploiting all our people, all our people's money, 
and all those workers who are there are francophones, most of them. They don't even employ our own people. But we buy the products. They spend everything, everything goes to them, pay tax to them. So they are going. That is a great victory, the greatest victory. The greatest victory in the struggle. Okay, this information also is a victory. The Vice President of the United States of America, under, the, under, under uh, President Trump, that is Vice President, Mr. Mick Pensy. He tweeted something and he said, I am privileged to announce today that the United States of America will establish the genocide, recovery, and persecution response program. I repeat, the Vice President of the United States of America, Mick Pence, in quote, I privileged to announce I am privileged to announce today that the United States of America will establish the genocide recovery and persecution response program. Then in black bucket it is slash IRF ministerial bracket close. So we are ushering now. These are not big that is coming. We are urging that all the Amazonians to feed and forth all the videos of all the evil things that our people have done, killings in Mecca, everything is then to tweet and follow all the world you should see. Since from 1916, uh, from 2016, of the present day, you should tweet everything and support it. This is a very good good move, a very good move by Amazonians, uh, by the Americans. To stop the massive killing program which is going on in Amazonia by the dictator Pobia and his military men. So the vice president will soon cut out a program, as he has already said on Twitter. Okay. I will also show you a video. One of the persons who goes around telling people false, giving people false impression that he is an Amazonian fighter. These are the people who have been engineered by Atanganji, Ekema, Patrick, and the others. Allied to go around. They will rape girls, seize their telephones, and say they are Amazonian fighters. So I will show you one of the videos right now of this rapist who rape girls and says he's an, an Abadona fighter. This while you wash, while you wash, you share. It should go well wide. This is Prince Ayamba, Mr. Hopes, who always come live, always come to inform the people on the happenings. Now I show you, please, I show you that rapist, the hopeless man, he was brought into order by the same dream forces. Yes, General. My young man, yes, so what do you bring you here? What? Uh -huh. Rape you man taking their phones. Can you count? How many women is them? You are rich. Two. Only two? When you throw your mother, I will, I will take you with my baby. Two? Where? Name the place. Where? Shout. From Kurubu. Yes. Uh -huh. So? And you 
they do what again? The two women, then, when you rape them, or is different one? You rape how many women? Two. You rape two. And collect their phones. Have you know the woman's name? No. What bad again have you do? Again. In this world again. You do you rape them and say that what? Say you are amber or you are what? Tell your truth. Give me the colours. Talk. You rape and say that what? I ask them whether you hear about. You hear about what amber. You hear that you hear about or about amber. Uh-huh. Yes. What? No. That's what I actually. That what? That the hill about Amber. Uh huh. You yes. say that what? Yes. You say yes. Uh huh. And then see. You say that what? I asked her to give me a phone. Uh huh. She gave me, she gave me the phone. And then I asked her to on the shelf. Shelf! I asked her to, to what? I asked her. I asked her to undress. That's what. That is and then when you undress, when you undress, do it when you undress, do it too. And you undress too also. Undress, undress yourself too also. First, when you are undressing, you are talking. I asked her to undress. Undress. You ask her. Uh-huh. So when when you undress. When I ask her to undress, you undress, I ask her what are you going to do? You say I should go there, shall we? You say that, yes. What should we do? You say I should text her and allow her to go. You should to allow her to go. And you do it. Yes. Huh? Yes. So yes. I yes. you do it. Yes. And you uh, do I allow it. her to go. Uh -huh. yes. And you collect the what? Just the phone. That's uh -huh. all. So, so you always do it? No. You say no, why? I do it that time. You do I, it, I, you I, always I, do it, yes or no? You always do it? Yes. So now, they are forcing you, or you are, or you are guilty, or is that the thing that you are doing? Is the thing that I'm, you are I'm, doing? I'm guilty. I'm guilty. Uh huh. Yes. I'm telling the truth. I'm guilty. I'm they are forcing you that you should no, talk, or they are. No. No. Uh -huh. They are not forcing me. Uh huh. Yes. They are not forcing me. Mm hmm. So they are what? They are not forcing me. What you ask me, I'll tell you the truth. They are not forcing me. Mm hmm. Yes. So, what is your name? My name is Augustine. So. Pardon? My name is Augustine Sue. So. From where? From my Jersey. Pocket Square. Uh huh. Yes. So, your father's name, your mother's name? My father is Chetoset. Mm -hmm. And mother's name is Nomegui. Uh huh. Yeah. You are how many years? Half four years. Forty. Four years. <laughs> and you did everything. The father of, put on your hand. The father of, how many? One. Eh? One. Are you married? Yes. Eh? Where is your wife? She's at home. Eh? She's at home. Okay. You know where we are there? You know where we are there now? No. Eh? No post. No post. Do you know where we are there now? No post. They kidnap you how many in how many days from now? Or they kidnap you? One day. One day? Yeah. In the night or in the day? In the day. Eh? Yeah. Have you known the boys the way they kidnap you? No. Eh? No. Have you known the boys the way they kidnap you? No. So now what you can say to the public now? Are you man? What? What, what the only thing I can ask the public to do is that this type of thing, they should learn this. It's not good doing things which they are not important in life. I'm adding, I'm asking, I'm pleading for you people. Nobody should never go against this and do this type of a thing. Rebelling is a bad thing. Don't rape any girl or whatsoever. Don't do anything again. It's very bad. And you should not go against betrayers. The church is not good. Okay, that was a video. People who have been forced and trained by people like Atanji, they go behind and cause 
evil things and they put the name in front that it is, you know, the self defense forces who are causing it. That is why the man has been arrested. Okay, let's continue. It is rather unfortunate, but we don't know what to say because we have always been telling people don't take gifts from the Republic of Cameroon, people who don't want to hear. Like now, I can't just keep planning to go to Douala to the to all the, the camp that they have arrested most of the people during Kali Kali and locked them in different cells. So I can't just prepare the Kali gifts to go and give them in the cell and show it so that the international body will see that they are giving humanitarian aid to people. But they are going to give those in Douala in the prison where they have just caught them and locked them there. They have to force them to take the gifts and all those type of things. But we are telling people don't take the gifts. Look at now what has happened in Nigeria. Eight people died in Nigeria because of these gifts. These gifts must have reached Nigeria. It must have passed through some sources and reached Nigeria. Eight people died in one home because of gifts. They ate and just died. Eight of them. Although it's not confirmed, but I'm quite sure that was what happened because they are now in the mortuary. Please, 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 Amazonians, all over the world, take serious care of yourselves. Eight Southern Cameroonian refugees of one household has been confirmed dead at Ecom in the Cross River State, Nigeria. The corpse has been taken to mortuary. The cause of their death is not yet known, but their same cuts were removed from their phones. It is alleged that they, they were poisoned with a humanitarian food that has already reached them. The material food that have already reached the camps in the camp 